There are various ways of measuring trends in stock prices and one of the ways would be to use the moving average and as in this example you can see that uh, LNG is trading above the 200 period moving average so you might say it's in a it's in an uptrend it's also above some of the other moving averages but it it tends to cut down into some of those so uh, when it violates a moving average maybe you say the, tr the trend has uh, changed uh, so that's one way. Another way is that you might use something like the zigzag indicator. Uh, and the zigzag indicator looks at changes in price and has a threshold limit before it starts to change direction. But depending on what values you set in for the threshold, you can uh, pick out trends that are occurring of different uh, strengths of, of trend. So uh, there are two ways, but one interesting way is to actually draw a line of best fit between or among the data points that you're interested in. So in this is example we're looking at uh, LNG. If I was to draw a line of best fit, a linear regression line in fact it's called, you will see that we have basically a line which has been drawn by the least squares method. So it statistically is the line of, of best fit among all of these stock prices and then around that line has been drawn uh, two bands basically equidistant from the linear regression line and those bands are placed in this example at uh, two standard deviations away from the linear regression line. Now two standard deviations means that 94-ish percent of all of the, the prices are contained within these two lines. So you can see the price came below the the lowest uh, standard deviation line here, uh, but for the rest of the time, pretty much the price was within these 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 two bands. So linear regression lines are a good way to look at trends. The new template in EdgeRater is a linear regression channel analysis template, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use that template. So let's go with that. And I'll just bring up EdgeRater. And you'll see that there's the linear regression analysis category on the right hand side. And the linear regression template is the first template, the only template in that category right now. So I'm just going to run this on my list of weekly options. These have been updated as of August the 8th, 2014. So data from last Friday. And if I just run the template, it's going to go through and calculate channels, linear, linear regression lines of varying lengths for all of the stocks that are in this list. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different groups of columns which contain the linear regression information of the various lengths. So they start at five day linear regression, then it goes to a 10 day or two week linear regression line, a, a 21 day or roughly one month, 63 days or three months, 126 days, which is six months, 189 days, which is nine months, and 252 days, which is one year. By default, these this template, the results of the template, are sorted by the annualized percentage gain of the stocks. Let me explain what that is. Let me bring up the chart again. And if I just pin the chart to the top, you'll see as I move around the, uh, the template and look at the different values, what would be interesting in the linear regression, because each of these stocks will have a, a linear regression line, some of them will be steeper than others. And so the, the, the slope is a pretty much the slope is a standard technical analysis indicator which is the rise over run of the linear regression line trying to, to give you an idea of how steep that line is. Uh, in the templates here we've, we've taken that to another level and tried to give you a percentage in terms of percentage so that you can compare different stocks uh, the the slope of those lines. So if you look at the bottom of this chart there's the uh, linear percentage, uh, linear regression line percentage annualized slope. So that the value here is a percentage which basically indicates if the slope was to continue 
that if the line was to continue in the same direction after one year, how what percentage increase will it have made uh, after a year? So regardless of what period of linear regression you're using, you can annualize it to get, to give you a comparative uh, way to uh, to compare the different periods, but also allows you to compare stocks against each other, because you probably would be interested in stocks that are have an annual annual um, increase. Hi a higher annual increase than, than other stocks or if you're trading on the, the short side uh, maybe a higher annual annualized decrease so as I said before by default the template is sorted by the 250 day column so you have the direction indicating whether the slope is upward sloping or if it's downward sloping it will have a red uh, down indicator and if it's flat, flat meaning that the annualized change is no more no, is no more than five percent. So if it's within the plus five percent or minus five percent annualized change, then it will be indicated in this template in this column, the direction column, as flat. And also another indicator that's given for each of these various periods is the percent B indicator. Now in this case, the percent B is indicating between these standard deviation bands where the close price is currently lying. If I now scroll, f uh, use my use my cursor keys, my arrow keys, and just go through the various values on this template, we know they're sorted by the currently the best annualized uh, performing uh, slope to the worst. So as I go down through this list, I can see stocks that have uh, steeper lines. And if I look over to the right and under the percent B column, and if I was particularly interested in finding stocks that were at the bottom of the channel um, with the idea being that if they get towards the bottom of the channel then uh, they might turn around and continue in the direction of the channel then I can look at the percent B column and look for values that are that are fairly uh, fairly s small so for instance if I was interested in finding stocks that were in a long-term uptrend indicated by the one-year linear regression channel sloping up at a reasonable rate and I also wanted to find out when they were, the price was at the bottom, towards the bottom of the channel, then I would just look through the percent B column and try and find an example. So I'd look for something that's percent B value fairly low. This is a good example, Valero Energy. You can see that the channel is sloping up. It's moving up currently at a 37% annualized rate, meaning that if it continues, if the linear regression line continued from where it is today, in one year's time, it will be 37% higher. And the price is currently 8% above the lower standard deviation, two standard deviation band. So it will quickly allow me to find uh, things like that. Uh, what I can also do is as I scroll around this template uh, and I look at the different periods, so now I've just shifted the into the column, the nine month column, you can see that it will update the chart to show you the linear the linear regression for that period of time. So you can look at shorter and shorter periods. You can do things that are quite interesting like uh, find stocks that are in a long-term up uptrend based on the linear regression. Uh, and then you might want to say, I'm interested in uh, things that are rising annually at a fairly high rate. But then I'm looking for things that have stocks that have pulled back uh, so maybe the recent 10 days is has been down. So I can sort this by the up column and I can go over to the 10 day regression and sort by the uh, down column. And then as I start to scroll through this list of things that have come to the top of the list and uh, let me just move this over here and I'll start scrolling down through this list. We'll see what, what that actually means. We're in the uptrend here, but the 10 day is down. If I move over to the 10 day column and I click on the 10 day for RAD, you'll see that the 10 day regression is actually, the channel is actually sloping down very st steeply, minus 339% uh, annualized rate. So, and the five day even steeper than that. But you can do all kinds of things like that to find stocks that are meeting your desired criteria. Another good thing to do here is use this in conjunction with the 
uh, the annual trends or seasonality templates. So for instance, if you uh, sort this again by uh, say one year linear regression, so those rise to the top, the ones with the steepest slope on the one year regression, then perhaps I look at something that's at the bottom of the channel, like down here, SanDisk is at the bottom of this upwardly sloping channel. Uh, maybe then you can run the annual trends template or seasonality template to find out what what has happened to SanDisk over from from today uh, for say the next three months or four months or five months over the last 10 years and uh, you, you can find out then if there's any seasonality associated with it if you have good seasonality and you also believe that this this uh, linear regression line will continue um, in it sloping up then maybe that would indicate a good time to to buy into uh, SanDisk. So there's all kinds of things you can do with this new linear regression template and hope you uh, have time to experiment with it. I hope you enjoy it and please send me any feedback you have and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot.